Hi everyone, I am Orian Gail L. Arellano, a wind watcher and an OSG student. Before I share the story of how good God is in my life, let's pray first. Abba Father, you are so good, you are so great, and you are so faithful in our lives. We thank you that we will have, and I will have this opportunity to share kung paano ka humilos sa buhay ko, O Lord, at sa buhay ng pamilya ko. Salamat, Panginoon, na ang yung mga salita ay patuloy na nagiging buhay sa buhay ng bawat isa. Lord, we believe that you are not only a promise-making God, but you are also a promise-keeping God. Lord, patuloy, Lord, na ikaw yung maitaas sa buhay ng bawat isa. And let the Holy Spirit just fill and hover this virtual platform that we're in. Lord, ikaw lang ang maitaas at wala na pong iba. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, as what I've said, I am Arian Arellano. I am a special education teacher by profession and I have been teaching for six years now. The desire of being a teacher abroad had started way back pa nung high school ako because my parents were working in Singapore during that time. I remembered yun at yun yung sinasabi ko sa mga professors ko when they would ask me, where do you think you will be five years from now? And I would always say, teaching abroad po. In the sign na yun, it didn't materialize agad-agad because I started teaching na before I even graduated. But it became real when 2017 came. Noong 2017, I went to Singapore to visit my father and also to look for jobs there. I kept praying kay Lord na makapag-extend ako but hindi po siya nangyari. So I have to go back here in the Philippines and then that's the time I started attending Windwatch because of the youth leaders in our church. Windwatch has been very essential in my journey. Ilang beses po na confirm in my W case that I will be teaching abroad and because of that, I kept holding on, a, on that promise na this is Lord's will for me. So May 2018, I went back to Singapore po ulit, not to have a vacation this time, but to really pursue God's plan for me, which is to work abroad. I was holding a tourist visa and dahil 30 days lang po ako, every second mattered. I went to school, sakay po ako ng buses and trains, even yung hindi na po abot ng bus, nilalakad ko pa. And I kept praying kay Lord na i-guide ako sa lahat ng pupuntahan ko. By His grace and favor, my stay got extended for another two months. Within the three months that I stayed, it was a walk of miracle and wonder. May mga times na na-interview po ako or nag observe sa mga classes, pero I was never called back. During that time, I was keeping everything to myself, even kay Lord, because I remembered I wouldn't talk to my parents, to my mommy or to my kuya or to my church mates just because I want to talk to them pag may work na ako. Which is hindi dapat. July 23 is my last day in Singapore. July 20, I received a call na meron akong interview sa isang school. July 21, I went there and got accepted. But unfortunately, I have to go back to the Philippines. The principal there told me that they'll just update me and give me my contract online. I went home, very sad, very emotional, very nahiya. Kasi paharamdam ko, I just wasted my time. And nawalang naging fruit yung labor ng pagpunta ko doon. God, being a good God He is, He didn't mind those emotions that na I feel. Ko. In September of 2018, I was able to receive my con- contract through email. And syempre, sobrang saya ko po. Because I know this is it. God is really letting me go sa Singapore. I passed all the requirements and waited. And uh, they had to give it um, to the Ministry of Manpower, which is parang dole here in the Philippines. But October of 2018, I got the news that Ministry of Manpower rejected my employment pass. Sobrang, I feel really down and frustrated because I thought this is God's favor to me. Ilang linggo akong hindi masyadong nakakausap but I never stopped attending Windwatch. 
and LGIs line by line and the 21 days mind detox. Mm, during that time, I know I had, I know kailangan mag-move forward and that rejection is really not the end. So I went to another school I applied and it's in Makati. Pero syempre, my heart is still in Singapore because I thought that was really God's plan for me. And that is really God's promised land for me. I tried again in year 2019. And by God's grace, I got in. And masaya ako ulit kasi natupad ng Lord ang desire ng puso ko to get in a program which is work and study program. After that, uh, so after noon, um, I started studying. I uh, give all the requirements, the homeworks. Lahat na kailangan sagutan, sinasagutan. Kahit na nag-work din ako as a teacher during that time. After that, um, June 2020, because of COVID, nadelay nang nadelay yung mga interviews. So, nangyara lang siya ng June 2020. We got interviewed by a school in Singapore. So, it's online. During that time, I was so confident that I will be, that I will get in. But they never called me back after that interview. And again, I tried. Sa Japan naman, but this time, hindi pa din. During the COVID, COVID season, I attended more online study groups and WK rooms. Noong nag-start ng 2021, my vision, my vision hearing said that I'll be working abroad. I have to prepare my passport. I'm going to learn a new language. July 2020, 21, July 2021, bigla po akong napatingin sa Yahoo Mail ko po and I saw an unread message from an agency noong 2018 pa. I decided to try it out, send my CV, and then they messaged me back that I'll have an interview with um, a district coordinator and HR ng district school in Arizona. I remembered panicking because I just received the interview schedule at 6 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. ang interview of July 23. I remembered praying and thinking na baka pwede akong mag-know and baka pwede akong magpa-reschedule. But God's prodding was so intense, so I messaged Pastor Rowan and she called me. She said, I have to wear black and white and put a smile on my face and God will do the rest. Kinakabahan ako kasi it's my first time again after three years to talk about special education because I've been a preschool teacher since 2018. Sabi ko pa, mag-aaral ako before the interview, but God told me to attend our online study group in Makati and my life group sa church po namin. The interview happened at 11.30 in the evening of July 23, and I really can't remember yung mga questions sa akin. But what I remembered is what they said. Sabi nila, we're intending to employ you. So habang sinasabi yun, niisip ko na na, ay Lord, thank you po for the opportunity of being interviewed. Kasi after din nilang sabihin yun, they also said na, um, dapat, manami pang da- dapat daanan bago nila ako i-employ. So sabi nila, they're going to send out my CVs to the different principals in the district schools or yung part ng district school na yun or ng district office na yun. So I said, ah, baka matagalan pa. And it's alright because I'm used to waiting. So I just thank God for the opportunity and just let His will be done. But at 4 a.m. of July 24, I received my contract and letter of intent to employ. So, nakapasok po ako. Thank you, Lord. Every step is a miracle. I remembered po. Isa pa is that I was in the WK room. And Architect Marie was the one na naka-assign sa akin. I was praying for an appointment in the embassy. But God told her na approve na po ako agad. And uh, yun yung nakatatak na sa passport ko. And sabi din ng Lord through Architect Marie that yung clock 
na pinapakita niya is sobrang bilis na wag daw akong ma-overwhelm. And that, that's what happened. I was able to pass my embassy appointment, uh, my embassy interview, was able to pay everything because of God's provision. Long story short, all of the preparation only happened po for four months. And last October 23, exactly four months po after my interview, I'm here in Arizona. From the embassy appointment to the payments, to the people that help us, to the prayer partners, to my family, to LGI pastors, and to my co-OSG students, God had given them to us at the right time also. I never thought na yung five years ko pong inantay, kaya ang gawin ng Lord, kaya ang paiksiin ng Lord supernaturally. And that's who He is. God taught me to change my response to challenges and rejections, to believe that He's not only a promise-making God, but He's a promise-keeping God. And He will blow us away in ways beyond our comprehension. Na kahit tayo eh, sobrang ma-amaze, magugulat, and uh, mas lalo pang dedepende sa Kanya. So I just want to share to you um, the word that I've been I've been believing and patuloy kong kiniklaim for the past few years that I've been waiting. So it said in Isaiah 55:11, So is my word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. So God's word is alive, it's living, and it's going to accomplish what it started. Kasi ganun si Lord. Hindi siya nangiiwan, hindi, hindi bumabalik sa kanya yung mga salita niya na hindi natutupad. So, let's just wait. Let's keep on praying. And let's keep asking the Holy Spirit for the strategies for wisdom, for strength that only He can give. And that's it. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha Yair Adonai pana v'lecha v'yichuneka Yisa Adonai pana v'lecha v'yasem lecha shalom The Lord bless you and keep you The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace.